Maybe you've just come up with this crazy idea that you're going to start sewing your own clothes or possibly it's been in the back of your mind for a long time in that you just want to learn to sew your own clothes. Well, congratulations, because sewing is a very, very rewarding hobby and sewing your own clothes is Oh, it brings a lot, a lot of joy to your life. I know it will, but there is so much to learn and to take in. And I know the most complex questions are always at the start in that, where do you start when you want to sew your own clothes? We're going to talk about through all that in this video to really, I want to help demystify the process in just how you get started from the very, very beginning with the first thoughts of, I want to sew my own clothes. Where do we go from here so you can have the most sewing success ahead of you? My new sewing friends, welcome, welcome. My name is Evelyn Wood. I'm the creator of VintageSewingSchool.com and there it's my online sewing school where I've helped thousands of people on their sewing journey. And here on this YouTube channel, we talk everything about sewing your own clothes. I mean, quality clothes that you fit, that fit and you just love. So we are on a series because it's the start of a new year. And I know so many people start with this idea that it's the year, right? Start of a new year, you think this is the time. I'm going, I want to start learning to sew my own clothes. And so we're going to go through a series over the next month or two on real like step by step, all the sort of steps that you go through in the process of doing this, because there is a lot to take in. It's not as easy as just picking up a pattern and like you learn to sew. There's a lot of other stuff uh, that goes on and that's where we'll go. But we're going to take it back from the very, very first steps. So if you want to follow the series though, make sure you are subscribed. So hit the little subscribe button down below because it tells YouTube that you want to see these videos and even click the little bell to be notified. So you know when all of the next come out because I know you're going to really love these videos. So let's go through step-by-step, -step, really practical guide on getting started. Of course, the first one is getting your sewing machine. So I have made some other videos here on how to choose a sewing machine that you might find helpful. And I'm going to link up all these videos that I talk about all down below in the description box. So go there for more details on all of those videos. But the first up is to get a sewing machine. And maybe you already have a sewing machine, but you need to learn it. So the first steps are really just getting to know your sewing machine, sewing straight lines, sewing curves, back stitching, seam finishes even, and just getting used to sewing things together and figuring out all the buttons and dials on your machine and getting used to that. That is really the first step and you just gotta practice that. And don't worry, you don't need to know what all of those feet do at this point. You'll probably only need your regular one and maybe, um, you know, a zipper foot, but that's later on. So don't worry about all those fancy things. Just get used to stitching and back stitching and all the all the different functions of zigzag stitches and figuring out maybe what seam finishes that you want to do for garments. If you have just your straight sewing machine, you can do your zigzag stitch or an overcast stitch uh, on your regular sewing machine. So just practicing those is definitely step number one. Then of course, the second thing that you'll want to do is get all of the fun and fabulous tools and equipment that you need uh, to get sewing with. And again, I have a major playlist of different sewing tools but really there are so many fancy tools and like they're they're really fun and they really help in your sewing but honestly you don't need a lot to just get started sewing I cannot emphasize this enough that you only really need a few basic things to just get started with you probably already have some things at home around and it might only take a couple of like one trip to the store to get a couple of things just to get yourself started it, you don't need much. And then you'll just work on, you know, you'll add more things to your sewing kit after that as you, you know, upgrade to a nice new pair of fabric shears and upgrade to nice, you know, other different types of pins. And, and I mean, the list is endless on the sewing tools and equipment, but remember, you don't need much to get started. And when you're beginning, all the fancy stuff, you don't, you don't know how to use and do it with anyway. So you don't need all that to get started and don't let that stop you either. Next is choosing fabric. And this is a big one. Please pay particular attention in that you want to start with a plain woven fabric. So 
plain woven fabric is something like quilting cotton or bed sheet material, right? Do not pick some stretchy um, t-shirt fabric or that lovely sequined um, number or even, you know, that beautiful silky soft drapey fabric. They'll be really hard to sew with. And I have some videos coming up in the future on what fabrics to pick as a beginner. So stay tuned for those. Um, they'll be coming up in more in-depth detail. But you want to really stick with plain woven cotton. Like I call this your like your point, your zero, right? Your starting point for fabric, because you can focus on all of the other things. Focus on your stitching, like a straight line, getting it straight. Focus on the seam finishes. Focus on cutting out your pattern and learning out a pattern and notches and all that stuff. Learn on just sewing things together and just being at the machine and feeding fabric through. Get used to all that stuff before you add a really difficult fabric on top of that. So it always really does pay to just start with a really easy, sensible fabric. I know it might not be the most glamorous to start with, but trust me, it'll help you learn faster because you'll actually learn it and see what happens. And then you upgrade to different fabrics as you go along. It's what I find is the, the most success in my students as well. And if you are at this point, I would really love to help you get your machine started, set up and started sewing fabric. Uh, this is what I do. And I really wanna help you on your sewing journey. At Vintage Sewing School, I have a free class that actually is this whole part, these whole three steps that we've just talked about already, setting up your machine, how to use it properly, fabric, tools and equipment that you might use and just get used to starting and all the different functions that you might need to do. I always think that everyone should have access to being able to get started on your machine. That's why it is free. So I'm going to leave a link to that down below in the description box. Um, just click the little tab and it will drop down and you'll see the link to Vintage Sewing School. And of course, um, if you do decide to join as a full member, we have everything beyond what you need to learn your own clothes from beginner to, you know, advanced at the end. So hopefully that um, is something that you're looking for as well. But free class is always free and it will help you get all of those parts started. So next up, of course, is picking your first projects. Well, where do we start here? So I think that your first projects should always be something non-garment, even though I know you're here because you want to sew your own clothes. I know, I know I get it. But starting with say a simple bag, is an easy one, right? It just lets you practice sewing pattern pieces together, cutting things out and just constructing something uh, that's not very full on, so to say, and you don't have fit and you don't have to put it on your body after and then think, oh, that didn't really fit well or that doesn't look like something I want to wear. You can just learn, get started sewing, get used to a pattern, get used to all of those things first on a nice simple bag project, non-garment project. And then when you're ready to start your first garment, obviously try and pick something uh, easy. And again, I have some videos coming up on exactly how you would actually choose easy pattern uh, projects, because even though it might say easy on the packet, not so easy. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos on how to do that. But start with something with not too many things going on in the pattern, quite simple and definitely not very fitted, just something loose fit in design. And you'll, again, it might not be as glamorous and you don't start with the beautiful, I don't know, 1950s dress that you have your eye on or that coat with, you know, whatever it is, That's, that comes later. Start with simple and you just build and build and build your skills and picking projects that are, it's not that you don't wanna pick something too hard, it's that you don't wanna accidentally pick something too hard and then you get totally disheartened because you're so overwhelmed and you're just thinking, this, I can't do this, this is not for me. So it really does pay to just pick, uh, you know, ones that are within your skill level or just a step or two up so you can keep building and keep building and see more success because sewing really is about building the skills and my big focus on when we're learning to sew is to focus on the skills. So like, zips are a certain skill, hemming is a certain skill, using facings is a certain skill, understitching is a little skill. And don't, don't get too overwhelmed by all that, but think about it as a bunch of tiny little skills, all of these skills that all combine together to create an outfit and a garment. That's how I like to look at it. So I hope that perspective helps with you picking some patterns and uh, start with those non-garment ones and move to easy garments and more complicated garments. And a good way is to look at it is to just work on one little skill or, th or thing at a time on each uh, pattern. 
And finally, it just takes practice <laughs> and have patience. So sewing is a skill, it's a learned skill and it just takes practice. The first time I did a zip, I can't even tell you how many times I must have unpicked that thing and I'm pretty sure I ended up throwing it out because it was so awful. But now I can sew a zip, you know, with only a couple of pins and you know, it turns out lovely, um, something I'm really happy with, but that's because I've made literally probably thousands of zips over 20 years of sewing. So it, it is all about practice and that's only up to you to just put in the work and please give yourself some patience with it. It does require this and persistence, what I call the three P's in learning to sew is patience, practice and persistence. Know that you will make mistakes. It is part of the process. I still make mistakes now. You'll still make mistakes in a year's time, in two years time, in 10 years time. It's just so whenever you need to use your unpick for something, just don't even give it a second thought. Just unpick, un like use your seam ripper, just carry on, move on. It happens to all of us and it is part of the process. Don't be too hard on yourself. I would love to hear from you down below in the comments section. Uh, where are you in your sewing journey? I would love to hear what you dream of being able to sew because you know what? I do read all those comments and I might just make a video to help you out, whatever it is you put down there. And if you are brand new here, uh, we, I would, well, if you don't know yet, we are a community here. And I can't even tell you the amount of times of comments, the people that have said they found the comment section. So below this video in the comment section from you, so helpful and it is a further resource for you. So I encourage you to leave your own helpful comments for others and read through them and like and let them know that it was a helpful comment too because we're all here to just help each other learn to sew our own clothes better. So please uh, use that function and uh, I cannot wait to hear from you down below. So remember, do click the, um, after you've left your comment, do click the link in the description box to go there because I have that uh, free class at Vintage Sewing School. I would really love to be able to help you further on your sewing journey as well. So until next time, my sewing friends, happy sewing. Bye.